Oh, oh, that ending. Oh, that ending. Oh, oh my god. Okay, the chills are back. Gotta make them go away. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. I wonder if these will have parts. You know what? Before, before I continue, I'm just gonna do episode one because I don't know if they're gonna give the episodes names. But let's just start there, shall we? Alrighty. We also did see the uh, Grand Inquisitor right at the beginning, and he 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 looks he looks pretty good. That massive fish is so weird too. I think the third sister at the end of this is going to like get removed from the Inquisitory because of trying to draw out uh, Obi-Wan, but also maybe she'll get promoted because of doing it. I'm not really sure. There's no way that that person that was asking for like Obi-Wan's like chip or whatever to board the ship didn't see that lightsaber out of the belt. I mean, come on. Go from digging, having it just buried in the desert somewhere. I don't even know how we remember that to begin with, to having it on his belt. Which, I mean, I guess where else would you put it? Because you're in a cloak like that. It's not like you're wearing a backpack or anything. So I guess I could see it, but like, it's it's like right there. <laughs> it's just like, oh, let me put this thing away. And then it's just a lightsaber right there. <laughs> but it is what it is. Part two. I feel like, I feel like we might actually get some good action in this episode. And I think Bale said that Leo's getting taken to Dayu. And I'm assuming this is that planet that we've seen in the trailer as well. Ship trackers are blocked in Dayu. Interesting. These people like their secrets out here. <laughs> this place looks so dope though. I haven't really seen too much like it in Star Wars, but it also fits in Star Wars at the same time. It's a clone trooper. <laughs> are we gonna see Tomorrow Morrison? <laughs> I think he's a member of the 501st too. <laughs> Look at Tomorrow Morrison. That was, that was so good. Once I heard that voice, I'm like, it looked like he had the blue, so maybe he was a member of 501st. Maybe new code? No, Cody. Rex? <laughs> you want some spice? <laughs> Just gave him some spice. There's a Jedi here that helps someone. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. Kamel Nanjiani. Is he the Jedi? Yeah, he is. There, there's no way he's an actual Jedi. It's either he's actually a Jedi and he's just trying to get some credits, but I'm assuming that kid is actually a Jedi. Or, or he's playing them all, which I think it's the latter, honestly. Oh, no, obviously not. He's obviously a Jedi, but the whole Jedi mind trick was probably a play. Hanja Estre. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I I didn't think he was an actual Jedi, but like, I mean, he made it make sense. Camille is so good. That makes so much sense though, like the remotes and then the magnets. That's interesting. I guess I I guess I did have reason to doubt Kumail Nanjiani, didn't I? <laughs> is this a freaking meth lab? <laughs> Spice lab, but a meth lab? That's amazing. They really missed a chance to have Obi-Wan buy some death sticks. You wanna buy some death sticks? You're a little out of it, aren't you, Obi-Wan? Oh, did you <laughs> Did you stab your own hand on his head, Obi-Wan? Come on. He's a Zabrak. You know Zabrak's will. Watch, Leia's not even there. Oh, no, yeah, they probably put her in somewhere else and just used it to trap Obi-Wan. Damn, Obi-Wan, you should have kept on some training. <laughs> Damn. Get that spice, Obi-Wan. <laughs> I'm here to help you. <laughs> that is, that is so good. Such a good, like, mirror of episode four of Luke meeting Leia. This would have been easier with an army. <laughs> uh, nice spice dream. He's so good. He, the Grand Inquisitor is actually really good. I was a little, I was a little sus after the first trailer, but do they really take uh, like <laughs> your book photos of Obi Wan <laughs> and like other Jedi? That's a fucking. That's just a Velociraptor. That's just a Velociraptor with a gun. What? <laughs> you don't need those. And the gloves. I love it. <laughs> Damn, the sass out of Leia. Sheesh. Good granddaughter, maybe. <laughs> ben, that's not a Jedi name. Reva. She really is obsessed with finding Kenobi. I'm curious if, if we find out why. Leia, quit wandering. Leia, you're being a real shitter-titter right now. 
How are adults not able to keep up with this little 10 year old girl? Leia, you need to stop running. Quit, quit yelling Leia, Obi-Wan. Oh, you're just gonna come across the third sister. Use the force, Obi-Wan, come on. Here it is. Haven't flexed those muscles in 10 years, have you, Obi-Wan? Wait, how did Obi-Wan get down so, oh, here comes the third sister. How did the third sister not find them? Well, she got the location from poor Kumail. First reference to Padme. That's that's a, that's like straight up from a horror movie. Obi Wan, <laughs> come on, Obi Wan. He's like, does this thing still work? <laughs> Boy, are you out of practice too. <laughs> He's finding out Anakin's alive. Wait, what? She just killed the Grand Inquisitor. I'm so confused. But the that facial acting on you and McGregor when he found out that Vader's alive, Anakin's alive. That was insane. That was so good. Oh, oh, that ending. Oh, that ending. Oh, oh my God. Okay, the chills are back. Gotta make them go away. Oh my God. The, the zoom in on Obi-Wan's face, saying Anakin, hard cut to Vader in his pod. <sighs> oh, that was so good. Haven't seen Obi-Wan turn on his lightsaber yet, though, but. <sighs> That's, that was insane. Yeah, honestly, just with the fact that Obi-Wan just found out that Anakin's alive, I think that makes this episode better than last. <laughs> Without hesitation. I'll give episode 2 an 8.3. Ah, uh, 8.5. I think 8.5 is fair. So, again, not a whole lot happened. Well, I guess that should that, that's a lie. Not a whole lot of action happened. We almost got there. We saw Obi-Wan use the Force for the first time. He was able to find Leia, and they escaped Dayu, I think is what the planet's name was. And he, they escaped, him and Leia escaped. I'm curious if he's going to be able to get Leia back to Bale, and then like this beginning part is done and Leia is safe again. Because then it'd let him focus on training and like finding Anakin. Holy crap, that ending was so good. And so, she, the third sister killed the Grand Inquisitor, but he's alive during Rebels, and also dies during Rebels. So I'm curious what that is about. If they just retconned it, or what that was. But, uh, honestly, I don't have a whole lot more to say, honestly, I don't think, because it's pretty late for me, and I've been going at this for an hour and a half reacting, but... Kenobi is here, and oh, is it so good? This is really gonna start skyrocketing. Here is it so far. It's it's like right here. It's it's ramping up. I'm pretty sure next episode is gonna go, Meh. and then it's just gonna blow through the roof. <sighs> next Thursday, right? So in two episodes, Obi Wan denied to help a Jedi. The Jedi died. He tried to give Luke a toy. Owen gave it back. Leia got stolen. Bale asked Obi-Wan for help. He said no. Bale came to ask him personally and then said yes. Obi-Wan then found Leia and saved her basically. Used the force for the first time in this series. Hasn't turned on his lightsaber yet though. Has yet to turn that bad boy on. But it took him a hot second to use the force for the first time. When he does fight Vader, he needs to be in much better condition. Because otherwise, he's going to be screwed. Because it took him a hot second to use the Force to save Leia. So that's why I'm thinking he gets Leia back to Bale. And then goes about his business and starts training. Because he knows Anakin's alive. So now he has purpose in life, in life beyond Luke. Oh my god. That was so good. That was so good. I, I don't think I have anything else, honestly. That's all I got. We got four episodes left, and this is going to take off. I almost guarantee it. Thank you for watching. If you watched this, enjoyed it, 
please give it a like. I know I didn't say this anything, say anything about this in the first episode. If you watched it again, thank you for watching either of this. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see my next reactions to the next four episodes, I'll be trying to put these out fairly consistently over the next four weeks. That's all I got, I think. Kenobi is here, and I can't wait until next week. May the force be with you. It's not really with Obi-Wan anymore. Maybe you should hear that a little more often. Thank <laughs> you.